So the Holy Spirit comes to your door. Hold up, I'm coming. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got Instagram. I got friends. I got family. It ain't my priority. I'm coming. I promise I'm coming. Let me go. Hold on, y'all hold on one second because I'll be right back. I'm on live. Hold on, let me go answer the door real quick. (laughs) Hello? And what you do is you stand in the door. You're letting them know, you're letting the Holy Spirit know very clearly, I'm here, but you ain't getting in. This is what I call the lukewarm Christian. I I I need you to see this. I need you to see this. That you'll stand here all day and you'll listen. Oh, really? Oh, you want to help? Okay, that's great. No, no, no. No, I just wanted to make sure. Okay, yeah, I'll go to service. I'll watch online. I'll post scriptures. That's awesome. I'll still go club on the weekends. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. I'll make other things a priority. No, that's really cool that you would like to come in, but I really know that right here is kind of where I want our relationship to stay. And, and I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. To my family members who are less saved, I'll quote scriptures, but to, the, <laughs> to my friends and family who still like to turn up, I don't want to be fake around them. So I'll just stay in this lukewarm door blocking situation. And what God is saying to us as a church is how long will we keep the Holy Spirit at the door? How long will you stay lukewarm in your pursuit of God? How long will you be able to act like he's the Lord, but he's actually just an option? And the Holy Spirit continues to come in and he's trying to let you know that he has something for you, but he's a gentleman. He's not going to be forceful. He's going to be faithful. 